Hey, this is Jimmy from Polar Bear Club. We're dying here. But you're watching Groovy TV, so it'll all be worth it. We'll be dead soon. It's all worth it. No matter how much <laughs> suffering we go through, it's all worth it. <laughs> Hey, this is Groovy with Hollywood Music. I'm here with Jimmy from Polar Bear Club with the Denver Vans Warp Tour. How's it going, man? It's going amazing. Today's yeah. a great day. Very yeah. Cool. I have a thing in my mouth. Excuse me. That's what you but today, I, I have a tongue. Uh, you have a tongue? Yeah. It's so weird. Um, no, today's awesome. Denver's. This is only the second day of Warp Tour, but mm -hmm. you know, it's it's great. You can't complain. It's a beautiful day. You know, a lot of people are here. It's good stuff. That's badass. Now. Um, Yesterday, did you have like the beginning of the tour jitters and all that kind of stuff? Yeah, it, the first show is always weird, you know. I mean, we actually there's a production day before Warped, where everyone usually gets to, and we had to miss, so we rolled up at like six in the morning of the first day, oh and God. we're just scrambling. And then we're like, then we didn't play till like seven at night, so we're just scrambling all day, get on stage, do our thing, get off. But you know, it was it was it was a good day. Uh, you know, Salt Lake City is. <coughs> It's not like a major market, but it, it was a great, great show. We had a lot of fun. The kids, it's not a major market, but the kids are like totally come out and support and stuff. Well, you know, you know we, we almost like places like Omaha or Salt Lake, places like that, just because, I mean, our show is the same anytime you see it. You right. know, and I think kids in those cities maybe see bands like phone it in because they're yeah. forced in, they're, they're making their way from east to west. Um, and they appreciate that you don't, you know, and, and, yeah. and those kids, they stick with you, you know, every time you come through. Absolutely. Yeah. I completely agree. And also, like, those kind of cities, like, actually help build, um, you know, overall. Well, I, what's the point? I mean, you're there, you know, you're yeah. there, and they're... What's the difference between a person in Omaha and a person in New York City? You know, maybe there's 500 watching you in New York and 150 watching you in Omaha, but it's all the same. You know, it doesn't right. matter. That's awesome. Now, um, what's going on with the new CD? Well, we released a new album in September, and uh, we've just been touring like crazy off of that. Uh, we do this, then we do a short little stint in Europe after this, mm -hmm. and then we take the fall and we start writing the next one. You know? Very cool. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Very cool. We try to stay busy, you know? <laughs> well, that's what you got to do in this business, you know, just keep going. Or you'll lose your mind, yeah. <laughs> that's what I do whenever I'm at home from tour, just sitting around my apartment, I just stare out the window, look at my dog, like, what do I do now with myself? <laughs> go on tour. I'll go back on tour, sure, yeah. <laughs> I also think you lose your place in the slot, too. Like, if, you know, a band takes a break off from touring, it's like, Where'd those guys go? Yeah, it's a little, you know, it's a double-edged sword because you don't want to burn yourself out, but you take right. like three months off, and all of a sudden, like people are like, "Oh, what have they been up to? I thought they broke up." <laughs> no, we're still here. Yeah, just want to take a nap. Yeah, just a little nap. Give us three months, please. We'll be back for six, but just give us three. <laughs> uh, you know, fans always want more yeah, and more, yeah. more. That's true. That is true. <laughs> All right, man. So what's what's coming up next? Uh, you know, anything we can talk about, like new tours or releases or anything? And yeah. Well, after this, we go over and do like Reading and Leeds Festival in England. Ooh, yeah, which nice. is like just tops. You know, I mean, such an amazing festival. We get to see like Foo Fighters and Jimmy Eat World, all these awesome bands. Uh, and then we also get to play, so it's cool. And then we do a little tour after that, and then we're just gonna take the fall off. Where everyone will forget about us, I'm sure. Uh, but then we're gonna except write. Me. Except me, except for you. Yeah, we'll be in touch. We'll call you. <laughs> Pen pals. We're still here. Um, you know, we're just gonna write more music. You know, that's what we like to do. And uh, you know, our and just put out another album. Why not? Right on. Yeah. So if anyone hasn't heard of you before, like, how would you describe yourself? It's hard to describe your band, but I'll say I'll try and say what I've heard other people say, and that I don't horribly disagree with. Okay. Uh, some people compare us to like Rise Against. Mm. I think vocally there's a little bit of um, par there's parallels there. Uh, musically though, it's you know we tour with a lot of like the newer pop punk bands, but we're really just a rock band that that came from you know punk and hardcore. Mm. So it's just really a rock band with sort of screamy singy vocals, you know. But it's <laughs> it's 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 honest, and every show is as honest, as passionate as the one before. That's and, awesome. uh, you know, people, we hear a lot like, I don't like your kind of music, but I really like your band. 
you know and i think that's like one of the best compliments you can get because absolutely you've sort of bridged a gap there you've done something universal and uh you know we're proud to do that sort of thing absolutely yeah right on all right man well there's one last question what's up it's a survey question we ask every band i'm a little nervous you should be yeah uh, okay. people have cried over this and i actually like forgotten their childhood <laughs> wow okay hit me in your entire touring history, what is the worst thing you've ever eaten? The worst thing I've ever eaten? Yeah. It's so easy. CC's pizza. That's is that really? Third time. Today. Oh my God! It seems like such a great <laughs> idea, doesn't it? See, five dollars all you can eat, <coughs> and then a hundred dollar medical bill. It's horrible. It's the worst. I, I've never felt sicker in my life. So, so three I, other people have said that. That's kind of cool. You're the third person oh, today. Wow, I'm sorry, CCs. Well, actually, we just usually go fuck CCs. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, wh wh like, what CCs did you eat where this happened? Oh, I don't even remember. I think I was somewhere outside of Chicago in Illinois, somewhere. Um, you know, I mean, it's ideal for a musician. It's like eat all this food for so cheap, but then you just get back in the van and you're just you hurt. Everyone's oh god all day. It's a bad idea. Don't eat at CC's, kids. If you take anything away from this, don't eat don't at CC's. Trust CC's. <laughs> Even the delicious little sticky buns they have at the end. You say, oh, I'll have like 10 slices of pizza and I'll top it off with something sweet. Don't do that. <coughs> don't. Oh my God. Oh, thank you so much for your time, you sir. <laughs> it was an honor and a pleasure. <laughs> the Scrooby from Hollywood Music, Denver Vans Warp Tour. Woo! <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, guys. Pleasure. I can't believe CC's.